Ever wondered just how narrow or wide of a tire you can fit on your current wheels? Well, it's not just about making your car look cool. It's about safety, performance, and getting the most out of your driving experience. We'll break down how to understand those cryptic numbers on your tire's sidewall, and why pairing them with the right rim width is more important than you might think. And of course, we'll explain how to determine your current wheel width, and how to know how wide the tire will fit. Let's break down the three main numbers on a tire's sidewall first. These numbers are the tire's three main dimensions, width, sidewall height, and the wheel diameter. Take, for instance, a tire marked as 235, 45, or 18. Here's what that means. 235 millimeters is the tire's width from one side of the tread to the other. 45 is the aspect ratio, or the sidewall height, as a percentage of the tire's width and 18 is the diameter of the rim in inches. So how do you make sure you're picking the right tire for your rim? First things first, you need to know your rim width. Rim width is the distance between the inside edges of your wheel's flanges. Think of it as the spot where your tire hugs the rim. Grab your measuring tape and get the width from inside edge to inside edge. Rim widths are usually in increments of one half inch, so if you get close, you'll know you have the right measurement. Simple, right? Although you can usually increase or reduce the width of the tire 5 to 10 millimeters from the OEM fitment without trouble, it's worth double-checking. One big issue with wider tires is rubbing. Before you commit to those wide tires, do a quick check. You can compare the current tire width to the new tire width and see how much extra room you have to work with. Turn your steering wheel all the way left and right and see if there's enough clearance. Don't forget you need to account for suspension compression and check clearance from suspension components. For more information about tire sizing and tires in general, head over to TireGrades.com. Be sure to check out the link in the description below to our article on the same topic with a handy chart and calculator. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips. Good luck and happy motoring!